tell me if you've ever had this problem. You got everything all nice and lined up and clamped down. You checked your unit. You make sure that all your settings are set on your welder for what you're welding. You put your mask down, you get your gun, you pull the trigger, and you're like, Nothing. It's what I call soft gun. And I don't think any man or woman wants to have a situation where they have soft gun. You know what I mean? So today I'm gonna give you three things that you can quickly troubleshoot to make sure that you don't have to worry about having soft gun problems. So the first thing after doing the obvious of just double checking your MIG welder settings, because sometimes you can bump those knobs some, and adjust things. Uh, after you've checked those, make sure you check your contact tip. This is kind of the first and easiest thing to do. You just eye it and look, make sure it's nice and clean. You don't have any slag or dingleberries kind of stuck on the top there uh, near the hole where the wire is gonna be coming out. That can slow down your wire. Also, just kind of pop this off. And if you have one of those little contact cleaner kit things, uh, it's kind of like a Leatherman, but for contact tips, you want to run, you know, that through there and clean out anything that might be in the inside, clogging that up a little bit and slowing it down. And of course, if you can't really clean it out, replace your tip. All right, so the next kind of quick and pretty easy thing to check is inside of your machine. So we're going to lift this up. All right, let me remove this so you guys can see in here. So there's two things we're gonna check inside of our machine. Now the first thing is just gonna be the tensioner on our drive motor. Um, a lot of times this can come loose and your tension can start to get a little loose. And uh, just from vibrations of welding and just being in the shop, being rolled around or bumped or whatever, just welding in general, uh, can cause this to get a little loose. And when that's loose, your drive motor is not putting enough tension on your MIG wire as the gun is trying to pull it through, and it just starts to skip. Think of like a belt that loses some teeth and it's kind of jumping time on your car or something like that. It's just not catching it and forcing that wire through. So your drive motor will keep spinning, but your wire will just kind of go, just, you know, kind of sputter a little bit. Soft gun. So just try tightening this down a little bit and seeing if that fixes your problem. Now, you wanna be a little bit careful here. You don't wanna tighten this down too tight because that can cause uh, what, the bird nest. So if, if your tip gets clogged for some reason and the wire doesn't feed through, this will actually, if this is too tight, this will actually cause your wire to bunch up in here and get that nasty bird nest thing that you gotta cut out and refeed all that through and it's just, it's a waste and it's a pain in the butt. So the next thing to check out is just where the wire spool is connected. You know, sometimes this can get kind of crusty a little bit inside with metal dust or dirt, slag, all that kind of stuff. Just kind of catches in here over time. Uh, this is something that takes a long time to build up, but if you have an older machine or you've never cleaned out the inside of your machine, you can see we kind of need to clean out our machine right now. We occasionally come in and just blow all this out. That can build up in here and it's starting to get a little crusty and rusty and just not move as, as great. So if you have that going on, plus with your tension getting a little loose, that's gonna cause some problems. So the next thing you can do if none of that has worked is, well, replace your liner. 95% of the time when I haven't been able to spot anything visual like tightening the uh, drive motor or the contact tips, it's just something I can't really figure out it's always come down to the liner. Anytime you get a kink or just, you know, material and gunk just builds up inside of that liner, it will slow down your wire speed. And there's really nothing you can do about it except replacing your liner. Now, fortunately, replacing your liner is a fairly simple process and it really doesn't matter what type of machine or brand you're using. Replacing the liner is a pretty straightforward process and we've already done a video on that showing you exactly how to do it step by step for just about any machine that you might have. Go ahead and check that video out. We'll post a link to it somewhere. Mm -mm. I'm sorry I spilt you. I still love you. All right guys, that's it for this one. Just a few quick tips to help you troubleshoot the whole soft gun problem. I know it's incredibly annoying to have to deal with that, um, but hopefully this should help you get through that pretty quickly and uh, that's it. So if you guys have any tips on how you've battled with the soft gun problem, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. But that's it for this one. See you guys next time.